This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is archiving and deleting production units. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see reasons for deletion of production orders, why we need to delete the production orders. Okay. Steps to archive and deletion of production orders. What are the steps we need to carry out to archive and deleting the production orders from the system? Residence times. What are residence times? Settings required for archiving and deletion. What settings we need to do in the system? And then retrieval of the deleted production order. So if the, if the production order is deleted, then how to retrieve it from the system again? We will see these topics today. So basically, we will understand first what is production order, archival, and deletion. Okay. Production orders, production orders have an extensive data structure, and thus occupy a large amount of database resources. Suppose let's say a organization is using SAP for quite some time, from a long time. Okay. So they are keep on creating the orders in the system. So these orders, let's say they create thousand lakhs of orders, production orders. Then these production orders will uh, occupy the database, large amount of database. So then it will become a problem. Okay. So that's the reason. Therefore, production orders should be archived and deleted after a predetermined time as elapsed. Okay. So after a certain time, you need to delete the orders from the system itself. Okay. Not just closing. Now, in our previous sessions, we covered till closure. Okay, but here now we will be deleting the production order from the system itself. Okay, an order is archived and physically deleted after a number of conditions have been checked and the residence times are taken into account. So, basically, basically, you will be physically deleting the order from the system. Okay, once you physically delete it, if you go to CO03, it will say it is deleted. You cannot see that order. Okay, and here uh, to uh, to delete these orders, we have these residence times are taken into account. What are these residence times, where they are maintained? Those things I will show it in the system. So the residence times are defined in the corresponding order types in custom name. Okay, so these are these residence times are maintained in production order order time okay i will show you that and uh, what is this residence times we will understand okay so basically uh, if you observe uh, in our previous session uh, first we take over the order technically complete the order and then finance people after they do the settlement they will close the order they will do the closure okay so now basically to archive and delete the production orders so orders should have these conditions met. So one is your actual cost should be equal to zero, zero, and it should be technically completed and it is closed. It should be closed and it will have the statuses like delivered. And on top of that, it should have the status deletion flag activated and deletion indicator activated. From that, after that, only then you can archive the production orders and then you will be able to delete them. You'll be able to delete them. So basically, after the delivery, after the GR goods receipt, uh, goods receipt, you we, we do the echo and closure. And after that, you activate the deletion flag indicator. And once the residence time one is reached, you do the deliver deletion indicator activation. And after the residence time two is elapsed, then you go for archive. So basically, these conditions have to met to delete the orders from the system, which I will show it in the system. Okay. So production order, production orders can be archived. Production orders can be archived and deleted if they have the status deletion indicator. So to delete the production orders from the system, okay, it should have the status DLT, deletion indicator. Okay, now to put the deletion indicator, we should have the status called deletion flag. Deletion flag. Okay, 
and uh, uh, what is this closure deletion flag deletion indicator I, I will show it in the system okay so basically in our flow if you go to our flow first is production order creation production order creation after that material availability check availability check availability check and after that production order release production order release okay. and after that sometimes you may have production order printing production order printing after that you have goods issue okay after that production order confirmation okay and after that goods receipt goods receipt goods receipt and after that production order technical completion technical completion so till this part normally pp pp part okay and after this after this finance people will take over this we have discussed already what they will do they will do variance calculation calculation and after that they will do settlement till this part we covered settlement and after that production order production production order production okay, so when you do the production order closure it will have a status of clst so till this part we have covered now after this if they want to do they can do the uh, basically what you call it, archiving and deletion so here first step is activation of activation of deletion flag indicator deletion flag indicator i'll show you this in the system we'll do that and then activation of deletion indicator deletion indicator okay. and after that archiving archiving and followed by deletion production order deletion so these are the steps we are going to see production order deletion okay so once once you delete the production order from the system you will not be able to see it again and normally if you go to uh, co03 then system will say uh, production order cannot be found so till this part we have seen when you activate the deletion flag indicator it will have a status of dlfl and when you activate the deletion indicator, it will have a status of DLT. DLT. Okay. So to activate the deletion indicator, first you need to activate deletion flag indicator. And once you have deletion indicator, then only you can delete it. You can archive it and you can delete it. Okay. These are the prerequisites. Okay. So now today we will be covering these steps. How to do that? Okay. So let's continue. Oh closure the order is released or technically completed there are no payables or future change records from confirmations where cost balance should be zero so normally once you do the settlement actual cost will become zero and then we will do the closure this we covered already okay so now let's go to the system so if you take this order if you take this order in the previous sessions we have closed this order you see clsd if you click on the i button it is already having the status called closed and it is the settlement was done and then it was closed so if you go to cost analysis see actual costs are zero so we have done the settlement and we have closed it as the costs have become zero so now this order we will try to delete from the system we'll archive it and delete okay so i will take this production order 
this production order we will do the uh, for this production order we will do the remaining steps okay uh, so now first deletion flag so to activate dlfl 